Hey, it's Jason. Welcome to WordPress Foundations. This is Module 1, an introduction to WordPress. This video is titled WordPress.com versus WordPress.org. So, WordPress.com. See, WordPress comes in multiple flavors, but for the most part, when it comes down to it, it's just two real versions. There's WordPress.com and there's WordPress.org. This course is going to deal almost exclusively with WordPress.org. If you're going to be using WordPress.com, which is fine if you're just getting started, you're not going to be able to do a lot of the things we talk about here. But I've kept this course pretty simple, so you're going to be able to do most of the stuff. The only things you're not going to be able to do is install all the cool little plugins, and there, you're going to be limited, limited to the amount of themes that you're going to be able to install. So that could hold you back a little bit. But for the most part, you'll be able to do most of the things. You're just not going to be able to monetize it as easily as you would if you had your own hosted version. And it's not going to look as professional, but like I said, you know, if you're right, making a site about your cat or it's a personal blog or something like that, WordPress.com is perfectly fine. It's also good as a little personal journal because it doesn't cost anything and there's no upkeep. There's nothing wrong with using it. But if you're going to be using it, you know, to try to promote yourself or your company or your brand or some affiliate products or whatever it is you want to do, you're probably going to want to go the WordPress.org route. And the only thing this is going to cost you is you just got to pay for a hosting account somewhere and a domain name, which we'll talk about this in module, I think module two. So let's go ahead and continue on. WordPress.com is the hosted version of WordPress. What this means is you visit WordPress.com, you sign up for an account, and you're online in just a few seconds. You'll have your own blog. You don't have to install anything. You don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to do any upkeep. You don't have to do any maintenance, nothing. It's a blog that's set up and ready for you to use right now. There's no fees. There's no payments. It's just you, and it's online. What's really cool is the updates and the security patches, the hosting, and everything is handled internally by the WordPress.com team. And let me tell you, these guys, they got it going on. They know what they're doing, and they don't miss a beat because, you know, they're, they're the people creating this stuff, right? So if you're on WordPress.com, you're always up to date, and there's just there's nothing to worry about. Here's some of the cons, though. Like we said, some of the good stuff is it's 100% free. There's no monthly charge, no overages, no, it's worry-free, and all the technical issues are handled internally. Some of the cons are it's not as customizable. Now, what this means is that there's going to be some cool plugin you read about or that I teach you in like module four, you're not going to be able to install it. And if you want to do a custom theme, which we talk about in module five or so, it's it's not necessarily going to be something you're going to be able to do because there's only a few themes you're allowed to use at WordPress.com and they're the ones that's inside the dashboard. Second thing is the WordPress domain name. You're going to be stuck with the WordPress.com domain, meaning you can't have you.com. It has to be you.wordpress.com, which is something you may want to have if your website has some intentions of selling a professional service or product. I don't know about you, but if you're like some marketing guru and your name is mybigbusiness.wordpress.com, uh, you know, I'm not going to take you seriously. I mean, if you can't afford your own domain name, your own hosting account, I mean, why am I going to give you money? I, it's, it's, it's just, it doesn't make sense, right? So you want to have your own domain name. Next thing is the upgrades. So you can actually upgrade your WordPress site so you can have it point to you.com and you can also modify the design slightly and you can also increase your storage page your storage space which means you can uh, you know you can upload videos documents stuff like that however these do come at a slight cost if you've never blogged before I recommend maybe going on ahead and visiting wordpress.com you might want to go ahead and start a little personal blog and keep it up and get used to the interface if you're not quite ready to invest some money and get your own domain name and host an account. But by using WordPress.com, you can go ahead and start learning the interface and getting a real feel for how to actually start blogging. See, WordPress.com is an amazing service, but for the professional, you're going to need a little bit more. And for that, we have WordPress.org. Now, WordPress.org is the self-hosted version of WordPress. What this means is you visit WordPress.org, download the latest code, and get busy installing, which we talk about this in depth in Module 2. And like WordPress.com, this version is 100% free. The reason you want to use this, the self-hosted version, is you have 100% control over your blog. You have access to over a 1,000 different themes, and you can customize the look and feel of your website to your heart's content. And the best part if nothing tickles your fancy, you can design or modify your own theme to your own heart's content. Something that's not covered in this course at all, but if you really want to geek out and create your own themes, that's entirely possible and highly doable. There's actually a couple of really good resources out there that you can check out. There's a book um, that you can check out on uh, Amazon on how to design themes. It's really good. Also, Rockable Press has one on how to design themes. It's really nice, but this is far beyond the scope of this site. 
this this module this course what I'm gonna teach you here is just how to leverage other people's work so you can go ahead and just get a nice looking theme and be on your way so in this course we talked about the difference between wordpress.com and wordpress.org if you're just getting started or you don't want to spend some money and you just want to get used to blogging maybe like you're just writing a little personal family blog there's no need in spending money if you don't want to use the wordpress.com site if you're going to try and make some money or leverage yourself as an expert you probably want to have your own domain name and hosting account which we're going to talk about in module two now don't let the installation for wordpress confuse you or scare you at all what i recommend throughout this course is to use a hosting server like Media Temple or HostGator or Bluehost or something like that where they offer this thing called Fantastico which is a one-click install service which I'll talk about when we get to that section but basically what that means is you just click a button and it's installed so it it, it kind of keeps things back in perspective it's kind of like a, there's not really much difference now between WordPress.com and WordPress.org thanks to all the new functionality that they've added to WordPress 3 it's, it's just amazing it'll blow your mind so let me go ahead and talk to you about it in the next video